Radio. Barry Ribs has now joined us in studio as well. I'm going to send them into the Barry, studio. Barry, have you ever met Jessica Colasso? Yes. Hey, Barry. Yes. Hey, Barry. She's out there right now. And um, Kevin Downey Jr. Yes. Just a known fact, they are like the Sonny and Cher of comedy, yeah. right? <laughs> they are. She's, um, she's very... Let me get to the mic and stuff before Sandy tells me that. It's Sandy, right? Sally. All right, so guys, I'm probably Either way. Radio. Sally. Totally right. fine. So, All right, Mario, just uh, yeah, yeah. keep keep all keep right. it coming, buddy. You're doing great. We're going on so, the patio, um, all right? Jessica is a very interesting woman. I met her at the um, my home club in New York City, the Broadway. Yes. And Broadway Kevin Tommy Downey club. Jr. And as you could imagine, comedians are really critical. And I know who's really <laughs> who. Kevin Downey Jr. Oh, is one of my favorites yeah. because guys, of two guys, reasons. Guys, 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 his Kevin rubbery Downey face Downey. thing and his material. Yes. Any other questions? Hey, guys, He's great. Uh, he has great material. He's funny. And, um, Hilarious. You guys hear me? Yeah, and we got Mario. Uh, if you put the headphone on, you can hear Mario Bosco is also I'm going to put it out okay, there. So yes, I'm sir. Okay, so I'm here on the patio. But, but uh, Barry Ribs, is, uh, for those who don't know, Barry Ribs, he's a, a legend, a New York legend on the comedy scene. Barry, That's what people say only because I'm doing it 27 years. You feel me? 27, wow. Yeah. 27 uh, this past February. Nice. And uh, I guess you got all sorts of people, comics industry kind of. Um, yeah. Never, never give up. Yes. Um, that's what I say. If this is the lifestyle you want, because this is something that you you sacrifice your life, you know. Yeah, yeah. And um, I'm trying to get better at living some life. I think I can live some life if I get more gigs on the road. Instead of one night here or there, maybe two to four nights so I can kind of see these towns, you know? Yeah, that yeah. That would be part of living life. And, and uh, shout out to any escorts that are discount. <laughs> <laughs> they come in handy when you're on the road. Yo. I, I like the comedy groupies. I don't like the real professional chicks, man, that look at me and go, this guy got a lot of money. Stop facially profiling me, bitches. <laughs> Well, that's what it comes down to. You just don't want to spend the money. You just don't want to spend the money on an escort. So you just want to get a groupie. Yo, get cheaper. There's well, the groupies will buy your drinks, too. Yo, sometimes here, groupies here's can cost thing. more, though. Here's the true. thing. In the long run. <laughs> here's yeah. the thing. As you guys know, there are incredible amounts of levels of fame and fortune. Yes. Okay? And the vast majority of comedians have to have a day job or two which probably was not the case, I'm guessing, back in the 70s when comparatively today you had five comedians to 5,000 now. You know what I well, mean? Well, yeah, it's a lot. And um, knock on whatever this shit is. <laughs> I, um, I haven't had a day job, um, shit, three or four years, but nice. I'm still broke. <laughs> still broke. But you're yep. still live doing your what you love. Live your dream. You're Go doing ahead. what you love. They say if you do what you love, you no, never, really, bullshit, you never work a day, right? When it comes to comedy, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad, right? Paid, damn it. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Can I leave now? No. <laughs> <laughs> but they say if you never work a day in your life, if you if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. So that that's that true for true. you. That, that is so freaking true, man. So true. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I, I, I think from time to time, these comedians... <laughs> <laughs> who say, I'm going to try this, and then they give it a certain period of time, and they walk away. No. This is something that me and many others were born to do. I started later in life. Yeah. I would have started very super young because my uncle was a comedian, but he never, ever encouraged me until I already started. Right, right. Okay. That's how, sometimes you got to show them. You got to prove it before they start buying in. You know something? I don't really. Can I curse? Yes. Because yeah, I already did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're fine. Yeah, this is fine. Anything you want. He didn't really give a fuck or whatever. Matter he, of fact, he told me before he died that he hated the business. And I didn't follow it up with a question, but I have a good idea why, why he hated this business because the public. Hi, public. 
There's a lot of behind the curtain BS, man. This can be really grimy. But it doesn't prevent people like me that need this and the laughter. It is... It's addictive. It, thank you. Just finish my sentence like my ex-wife. <laughs> Beautiful. Like my ex can I leave now, Sally? You can, can do I whatever leave? you want. But it's good to see you. So, uh, who's going to ask me a... Yo... Who's going to ask me a real good question because the public, and I got a bit about the public and some of their dumbass questions. We'll start with Sally, maybe. <laughs> ask me a real good question and we'll go around the room. <laughs> yeah, wow, man. All right. Notice how I'm controlling this fucking internet. <laughs> That's fine. We're, we're cool with that. Okay, Sally has nothing. We'll come back to you. <laughs> And your name again, I forgot? Tony. And that's Don, right? That is yeah. Don. Tony. Tony, yeah. <clears throat> how, well, that's an odd name in Long Island, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know how it was out there performing for governors tonight. I like that question. And as I told you guys sort of flippantly, I don't think that's the word. <laughs> well, you're here. You didn't kill yourself. So that's good. Right. That crowd was fire. Yeah. And I think I told you guys... I, I love this fucking room. I love this. I've been here many times, many times, and it's one of my favorite rooms within a radius of about three blocks. <laughs> <laughs> I love this room. For real. I love it. Yeah, they're great crowds. So, yo, as you guys know, I'm behind the eight ball. I don't know if that's the expression. I never understood the eight ball because I've never really done an eight ball. You know what I mean? So I don't know. But <laughs> Are you sure you haven't? <laughs> I almost did, Tony. I almost did. But I'm a pussy because I smoked some bad weed back in 75, and I gave up weed for a long time. Wow. I've only been back to weed about the last five years. Wow. So when I lived in L.A., I came yay close to try and co- because I kind of <laughs> trusted this dude, but I never did. Wow. And it had that, it, you know, coke and sniffing and cutting and all that shit. It had this sort of, it was a mystic thing. But when you see people around you do it, it loses that mysticism, you know? Right, yeah, yeah. It's just a little powder that you, right, Sal? You know, Sal. Right, She's right. on it now, I think. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Sally's always high. Always. Eight so, right always high. The show. So what I was going to say is, <laughs> this crowd, norm, I told you guys, I think, normally DL has two features, but to my surprise, this gig, we're going to do another show tonight right. at... 9.30 or yes. 9? Yes, 9.30. Yeah, 9.30. Mm -hmm. So it's not too late to come out, people. I, yo, if there's tickets available and shit. Yeah, The yeah. late show probably is, I don't know. You guys have a better idea. So last minute, I'm told by his road manager, it's just you and DL. And I'm saying, I'm probably going to have to do 20 to 45 minutes. Piece of cake? Um, Believe it or not. I've only, you won't believe this, in 27 years, I only got one hour on my resume. People don't believe that shit. Yeah, I'm shocked to hear that. Yeah. They also don't believe that, I don't know if the camera, because I was a fat kid. They don't believe that shit either. Wow. So, to my surprise, DL came just before showtime, but I really wanted the challenge to stay up there indefinitely, because this year I decided I want to be more of a closer gig where you can make more money. Sure. My landlord would appreciate that too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh. <laughs> so the people basically, they come to see the superstars and you guys, Sally, well, you're one of the guys, right Sally? Sure. There yeah. you go. <laughs> Stoned they, guy. They look, they look at the host and features like, come on, we want to see the star. But when I go up there, these people know who I am. I'm a little different. I'm a little different. That's from experience and God-given ability. So, but it could still work against me. But I, I've been, I have so much experience that, I mean, I, I can bomb like I told you guys. But a room like this, his crowds are the best. There's a very tiny chance I'm going to bomb on a D.L. Ugly show. You follow what I mean? Yeah, man. Yep, they, absolutely. Because they're all primed up. They want to see you. They want to rock. Do you have to change your, your, your style when you 
performing for a DL crowd, or do or you do the same set for every show? Excellent question. Mm -hmm. Yo, Sally, are you going to be able to come up with something like yeah, that? Yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah. Get to work. The pressure's yeah. on. Yeah, promise. Dawn, as you know, there's a thing called reading the crowd. When I started, I was really ignorant to something as common sense as that. And I used to beat myself up. Get to the mic, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> I beat myself up. That's one of the reasons why you're a comedian. Basically, you've been damaged psychologically through family or whatever. You know what I mean? So, so I didn't know about reading the crowd, which is, in, in hindsight, it is common sense, if you will. But I never said I had common sense. So to answer your question, I know the crowd is going to lean towards majority black people. But I basically do Barry ribs no matter what race, color, or creed. But I'm also going to throw in jokes relatable to black people. But so to answer your question in a short sort of answer, I'm Barry ribs all over America, black, white, green, yellow. Okay? Right. So did I make that clear, Tony? And you you did. Great well stage done. Yeah, Thank you. Well done. Very good answer. But you got a great stage presence. Um, <laughs> Kind of curmudgeon a little bit. Yes. And how much of that is, is authentic, real curmudgeon Barry or how much? Oh, I'm a miserable dude, man. I'm a <laughs> loner that nobody wants to party with, man. Loners <laughs> are pieces of shit. I'm just, I'm just showing some personality now. When I go out there, I flip the bird at anybody that's in front of my face. I'm a dick. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's what I wanted to know. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm a loner. I'm a loner dick. <laughs> No, and also I, I seen you you, you uh, uh, some roasts that you've done with Kevin Brennan. You saw that one? Yeah, that was oh my god, you, you killed. You, you're thank you. I think you're at your your best when you're really pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I did a few roast battles at New York Comedy Club, and that's a different kind of writing, and you got to have a certain personality to be a roaster. I'm all jokes aside. I'm really I think I'm sort of a nice man. But sometimes I say, according to people and how they talk shit about me, maybe I'm not as nice as I think I am. And I think, I think to really be a champion roaster, you got to have that uh, throw people under the bus thing. And anybody that knows me in New York or on social media, I'm a very supportive of my colleagues. Okay? I'm one of those dudes... Book so and so on Facebook, blah blah blah. I'm 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 an anomaly. A Google that Sally is that the word? <laughs> anomaly. Um, yeah, it is. That's it. You used it properly. Can I leave now? By the <laughs> way? No, I didn't ask my question. <laughs> Sally's still getting her question ready. No, I got it. Oh, she's okay, got it. Sally, yes. hit me. All right. So you're performing in New York. You're performing in L.A. What do yes. you? How do you feel the difference in the audience? Is it just night and day, or is it? That's a great fucking question. She's awesome. Well, because I lived in California too, so I just I'm curious. So you knew that I was L.A. Did you do any research, or you just guessed I did L.A.? Well, it's I, the shirt. You're, she saw that the shirt was Hollywood. Your voice. How, which which shirt? That one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that, that yo, shirt. Don, yo, Don. You know where I think I got this. I know Magnum where I got P.I. It. I know where I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got good. it in Boston, believe it oh, or not. Wow, yeah, cool. I used to live there, too. I got it in Boston because I think I stained the shirt on the train. So I just went to a store, and I'm very happy. Yeah. I actually can fit back in it, whereas a lot of people... Hey, Mario, come Yo, on in. I'm, I'm, I'm finishing have up, you, Mario. Have you I've met, been here too long. Have you guys met before, Mario? <laughs> Mario and I did a podcast. People wanted us to team up or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah. hang out. a mic though. on that, yeah. yeah. So, um, so, Sally. Yes. Hey, guys, I'm back. Yeah, hold on just a second. Um, he, ha he, has ADD. he has ADD or some other. He's got all sorts of stuff. Hello, <laughs> Jessica. Come on and sit Jessica's down. Here. Oh, let me say it quick because you got other people. No, here. it's well, cool. It's cool. Yeah, no, I'm, no, I'm no, curious. I want to get the. I said nice shit about you, by the way. Excuse me, I'm Mary. I don't have you on now. yet. So <laughs> just, just hold on for just a second. So Sally, Mario, you're in timeout for five seconds. Hold on. L.A. comic, yeah. L.A. comics, audiences. New York comics, New York audiences, people say, a lot of people talk out of their ass, so to speak. When I'm in L.A. and I work 
some of the best rooms. I do Barry. I don't think about, oh, this is a, it's an industry. There's a lot of industry types and a lot of the comics they want to showcase so they can, somebody can come and give them a card and cast them in whatever. So to answer your question, I do Barry. The crowds are terrific in general across America. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a real road warrior, but DL or any of these superstars can tell you which towns they love and which ones are, well, you know what I mean? That sort of thing. Yeah. Um, can I go now? Because you got these other guests and stuff. No, no it's totally fine. <laughs> I, I, I want to go, Sally. Okay. Barry, you yeah. rock, my friend. No, thanks for coming thanks, in. And thanks doing for this coming in. You want Not to yet. To the people, let them know. Um, so, so is this on um, any? Uh, or this is just on your. We're on Govs Radio uh, website. Radio. We're Got on it. Facebook. Um, on Govs Radio. Gotcha. So listen, a uh, Barry Ribs R I B S. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'm on X N X X Porn a little too much. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for having Don't me. Don't get the headphones, Barry. Thanks, no Barry. Thanks, Appreciate Barry. it. Thank you. Love you more. You See you. See you. Can I All go right. now? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Barry Ribs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>